In this part we continue the work and now I show you how to join two motifs together in large piece of work. This is my completed motif. It is my current motif. I didn't complete it. And while making the last round I show you how to join two motifs together. Let's begin joining. For this I took their bags together. My current motif is closer to me. I did double crochet in my current motif. And now let's make the first joining point. It is going to be the joining in the corner. Now insert the hook into the middle chain stitch of this chain space, make single crochet. Like this. Chain. Continue working on the last round in the current motif. Make double crochet. Well done. Chain. Now insert the hook into the chain space. I'm working with this chain space. Make single crochet. Make a chain. Make single crochet into the chain space in the current motif. Make a chain. Insert the hook into the next chain space. Make single crochet. Make a chain. Make single crochet into the chain space. Pull up the working loop. Let's look what we have done. This is my small piece. Continue working on the last round in my current motif. Chain of three. Make single crochet into the front post, double crochet. Chain of three. Insert the hook into the next chain space. Make single crochet. Then chain. Now I am working with these three chain spaces. Insert the hook into this chain space. Make single crochet. Chain. Insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet, chain. Insert the hook into the next chain space in the completed motif, make single crochet, chain. Work with this stitch, make double crochet, chain, here is my chain space, insert the hook into the middle chain stitch, make single crochet, chain, now working with last round of my current motif, make double crochet, into the same stitch. My one side is ready. Then you should crochet the last round in the current motif. I have done my current motif. Here how my joinings look like. Then I'm going to do a large piece of work. Now I show you how to crochet the last round of my current motif and while making this 
I will teach you how to join two more such motifs. I have already joined three motifs together. As you can see, two sides didn't finish. And while making the first side, I will join to the top motif, then work with the middle joining point and continue with the second side and the side motif. And as you can see, all three motifs have the middle joining point. Let's join the fourth motif to another tree. As we did before, my current motif is closer to me. I took their backs together. I did double crochet in my current motif. Then I did the chain. Insert the hook into the middle chain stitch of this chain space. Make single crochet. Continue. Chain. Make double crochet into the same stitch. Like this. Chain. I take their backs together, insert the hook into the next chain space in the completed motif, make single crochet, chain, and insert the hook into the chain space in the current motif, make single crochet, chain, Now insert the hook into the next chain space, make single crochet, continue make a chain, then single crochet into the chain space in the current motif, make a chain of three and make single crochet into the front post, double crochet. Then chain of three. And single crochet into the next chain space. Now make a chain. Work with the second part of this completed motif. Insert the hook into the next chain space, make single crochet, chain, insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet, make a chain, insert the hook into the next chain space in the completed motif, make single crochet, now make a chain. Make double crochet into the stitch of the previous round. Make a chain. Pull up the working loop. Remove the hook and now I'm working with middle joining point. As you can see, all three motifs were joined before. This is the chain stitch. The second, the third. We are joined to the first one. This is the chain stitch. Now I am going to work on the back side. I turn the work. Now insert the hook into this chain stitch, make single crochet, chain, Continue working on the last round, make double crochet into the same stitch. We have done the first side and the middle joining point. Now working with the second side and side motif. I am working with the motif that is in, in the bottom part of the swatch. 
Insert the hook into this chain space. Make single crochet, chain, insert the hook into the chain space of the current motif, make single crochet, chain, insert the hook into this chain space, make single crochet, chain, Insert the hook into the next chain space, make single crochet, pull up the working loop, let's stop and look at my swatch. I have done the first side, the middle joining point and begin the second side. Continue. Continue working on my current motif. Now make chain of three. Make single crochet into the front, pause double crochet, chain of three, make single crochet, chain. I took their backs together, insert the hook into the first chain space. I'm going to work with these three. Make single crochet, chain, insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet, chain, Insert the hook into the next chain space, make single crochet, chain, work with the stitch, make double crochet, make a chain. Now here is my corner chain space, work with the middle chain stitch, make single crochet, chain, make double crochet into the same stitch. I have done all joining points, but I still need to continue. I need to complete my current motif and my swatch will be ready. I have done my current motif and my example is done. Let's repeat again. I will begin from this point, continue with this side, I work it with stomp motif, then crochet the middle joining point and work it with second side and side motif. Let's look at the middle joining point. As you remember, I told you before that the second, the third and the fourth motif were joined to the first one. This is the middle joining point. This is the front side of the swatch. This is the back. Today we have learned how to crochet cute double colored square motifs and also you saw how to join such motifs together in large piece of work. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow us in social media. Thanks for watching!